So for today, we're going to be looking at the Siege Breaker armor set for the Hunters. If you guys don't know, we've already reviewed the armor set, which is right here, and the Shader Radio, which is right here as well. Definitely some choice words that I had for the Siege Breaker armor because I'm not the biggest fan of it personally. Um, but that being said, let me know what you guys think about the armor set in the comments below. This one, we're going to be looking at each of the pieces from the Siege Breaker set, and we're going to be making sets from them. That's how I usually do these videos, just so that way you guys can get some hint of like maybe what you can use with it. That being said, a lot of these sets are not that great. I mean, to be fair, I don't like them, but I know people will probably like them. So let me know which one you guys like in the comments below. But remember, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification. That also does help quite a bit. But other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at Caliban's hand with the nucleo synthetic sheath ornament and this one is a set that i've used before in the past but obviously we're using siege breaker mask instead and for this one we're going to be using the skeligal shader specifically because it goes really well the glow for the helmet goes really well with the glow on the arm but chess piece veritas chess or Ver veritas vest with the thunderhead strides is a combo i usually like to combo with because it looks really good together and the psionic soccer cloak with the mad monk ornament so that way there is no glow overall i like this set that being said it's not a siege breaker original because again i've used this set for multiple multiple sets in the past so it's not like oh i when i thought of siege breaker i thought of this set no i just inserted an old set for this helmet which i thought would look really cool i, I still stand by that i think this does look really cool but I've seen some people use the helmet in some really, really cool ways. Is it $15 worth just getting the helmet alone? I definitely don't think so, but that's probably more for you to decide. So let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, we're going to be using the nine day slash nights ornament for the knucklehead radar. And this one is a siege breaker or like original technically. And I say technically because I use the siege breaker grips a lot like more than any other piece from this set like legitimately it's my favorite arms my only gripe about it is the fact that the left arm has that like weird like horn thing other than that i think the arms are amazing oh well aside from the fact that they shader pretty shitty but i've already talked about that in the review video this one particularly i really like because we're going for a snowy biome soldier look obviously for the crystal cream vest i think that goes really well with the dark age cloak those two really give the vibe of this is in the snowy vibe biome type feel the arctic dreamscape also does help a lot i think the diamonds diamonds born strides is the only thing that i'm like i could have used better a better char i, I could have used a better boot for that that being said, I think the Crystal Green Vest would have been the better choice. Uh, Dark Age Cloak or, or the Dark Age Boot would have been a better choice as well. But overall, I really like this set. I definitely think this is the best set just because A, it's actually using a set that I, that used Siege Breakers in it and not an old set that just put Siege Breaker in there like the first set. Um, this, is, this isn't this is only the only Siege Breaker set that I've used as well. Like I, Siege Breaker arms, I've used in a lot of sets. It's literally one of my favorite sets to use just because it's, it is really, really that cool. So let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, you're going to be using the Siege Breaker Strides. And this one, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I surprisingly really like this one. And I say surprisingly because I talked a mad shit about the boots for the review video, which again, you guys definitely should see if you guys want to just hear my thoughts about it because i do i do drag this armor through the mud and not just the hunters the titans but the warlocks everyone gets smoked no one is safe for this one we're gonna be using the war painted ornament for the foe tracer and i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys i think the set is amazing that being said you can definitely switch out foe tracer for, for, for literally almost anything aside from the arms and the chest piece i think those two are really important because obviously i'm going for a poncho look and I have to thank Crips for the videos that he posted about that because it gave me some inspiration to make my own poncho looks and it looks really, really cool. Uh, specifically, shout out to the person who actually made the poncho look. I don't know who did it, but if you guys know, let me know in the comments below and I'll pro probably post it in a pinned comment because again, this is a really, really cool combo. Um, for the arms, obviously we're using the first ascent arms with the Braytech combat vest. That's the combo you wanna have. For the boots, Siege Breaker, obviously, but for the cloak, we're using the First Ascent cloak. So I like the First Ascent cloak for this just because it does look 
a lot more like it looks a lot like the um uh, well, she's not the stranger or whatever her her old name was, but Elsie. It, it reminds me of Elsie's poncho, which is why I really, really like this combo. For the shadering, Gamekeeper is what we're using just because I like the col colors of it. The brown and the, the blue I, and the silver. If I, I think there's silver in there. Either way, I like the color combo and I was like, I kind of want to have this. So, yeah, you can definitely switch out the shaders if you want. But the other reason is because Siege Breaker takes shaders pretty terribly. And for this one, it actually looks really, really decent. So let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the last one, we're going to be using the Balance of Power uh, exotic, the new one that just came out. And the only reason I ended up using this is because I just don't really care about this. So I'm using two pieces that I genuinely don't use, which is the chess piece and the cloak. I don't use the Siege Breaker cloak for the like no face hunter i use some other cloaks for that and if i really wanted to use this cloak i would just use the base look of it the activity armor and not the ornament version and the siege breaker vest and i explained this in the review video if it didn't have that dick flap i would have actually loved this chest piece because it has a really cool shoulder pad not shoulder pad but it has that shoulder like a hood thing and I really really like this one and I combine it with the psionic stalker grips because the psionic stalker grips kind of almost turns it off I mean it's still there it's clipping a lot but you, you really have to look at it so it does give that asym asymmetry like look and especially with the psionic stalker grips it, it looks especially cool because the psionic stalker grips are already asymmetrical as hell uh, for the helmet virulent mask and then for the arm psionic soccer groups which i think i've already mentioned but for the shadering we're using gabma jade stone beat specifically because the balance of power uh there's green on the inner thigh and actually just lights in general that don't change color so that's really really annoying and i don't like that not only that i'm not a big fan of the exotic you guys will see what i think about the exotic when uh, we make that video which is literally the next exotic video that's going to be coming out not a big fan of it and i'm going to probably trash it because even the look of it doesn't look that great especially with the ornament as well like ornament is cooler that being said it's not better still has the same problem as the base look but again we'll talk about that when we look at the exotic overall um i'm not the biggest fan of the siege breaker stuff for pretty much anyone that being said there are definitely some pieces that do really work well like i said the helmet's pretty decent the arms is my favorite by far um and that's it i think the the boots or the everything else is just pretty tr terrible in my opinion for the hunters so that's why i really have no opinion about it but i definitely think the third set is amazing and i definitely would use that if i used faux tracer or literally any exotic that or he exotic helmet that goes with it i think uh knucklehead radar would be a good choice as well just because knucklehead is just such such a cool looking exotic that being said i don't find it really valuable as an exotic uh, but yeah, I think I think there's some cool pieces in here or good sets I should say definitely some good sets here and let me know what you guys think Titans Warlocks you guys will be up next I will be posting a bunch of stuff I have a lot of content planned and I have a lot of content that I'm recording as well. Not only that I'm gonna be Unfortunately playing the the first descent descendant whatever the game is called um, I'm gonna be playing it and I'm gonna be reviewing it and the review is probably gonna go on both channels my first and second channel Which this is this one's my first channel the second one is my fixed Tony plays That's where I play whatever I want. I'm gonna start to play other stuff because the, the season's kind of winding down and Even with the new story stuff. It's nothing's happening so i'm just kind of like i'm gonna play other stuff and this is not a complaint because quite frankly i'm kind of happy because i want to play other stuff elden rings new dlc just came out i haven't even beat elden ring and i'm probably gonna play it on my second channel uh, from the from scratch because i my build was from when it first came out so my build is super trash now um and there's just other stuff that i want to play that i haven't had the chance or given myself time to do because of this channel i've I have a bunch of armor videos that I'm still doing. I still have two two armor videos that I still have to do. The Eververse armor and the seasonal ornament videos. And that's 10 videos just right off the bat. Like, that's crazy. So I will probably wind down a little bit more. But that doesn't mean you guys will be getting less content. It just means that the content will be spread out a little bit more. So yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that I want to talk about. Uh, for the first Descendant, we'll definitely talk about if it's fashion viable. Uh, spoiler alert. I don't think it is just because 
Uh, yeah, we'll talk about it because that. Oh, oh man, dude, I'm excited to just trash talk that game because as cool as it looks, I just can't really fuck with a game that's free to play and that heavily monetized. Now, people are going to tell me, oh, it's free to play, whatever. I don't care. I don't give a slight shit if it's free to play. If the monetization is trash, it's going to be trash. I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I apologize that I went a little bit out of script, but I do like to share my thoughts and just overall things that I'm doing at the end of the video. So if you guys came up to this point, I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I'll see you guys later.